Hello everyone, this is Artist and Tony, and this is going to be the home that we use for our course, how to build your own home, and also for our apprentice path, showing our apprentices, apprentices uh, how foundations work uh, with a basement home. And this will be our basement home case study. We'll do another case study where we have just a crawl space which is a much uh, less complicated uh, foundation. But I did find, uh, speaking of complicated uh, foundations, <laughs> I did find a tool uh, from this company called Medeek, M-E-D-E-E-K, and I'll put a link down in the description. And they have these neat extensions for uh, SketchUp, and one of them is a foundation tool uh, extension that allows you to draw uh, your foundation with the footing and rebar and everything the anchor bolts and all so let's just take a look right quick at our foundation view I've got set up here and let me turn those section cuts off and when I was doing this drawing uh, I didn't actually know that the project would go through at first so I just basically drew this foundation with you know basic lines, uh, basic geometry that you would draw anything in um, SketchUp. But what I'm going to do today is redraw this uh, with uh, using Medeek uh, foundation extension. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just turn this site layer off, which is our grade. You can see. So let's just give this extension a try here. We're going to go to stem wall foundation and I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to just do this part here first. And I'm going to select it. And then here you can see it's got our dimensions in there. That's correct. We got our stem wall thickness. We're going to make that 10 inches. And our height is 120 inches. We want it to be 10 feet. Footing, we want it to be 36. Footing depth is 12. Brick ledge, no. Ledge width, okay, we said no to that. Basement position full. Basement sill plate, inch and a half. Post size, we don't have any of this. Anchor bolts, yes. Enforcement, yes. No to crawl space. Okay, I'm just going to hit enter. And then top bar, yes. Just go down through these right quick. Bottom bar, yes. Putting bar, yes. Putting bar quantity, we're going to say three. Okay, we'll say okay to that. And then our anchor bolt length is 10 inches. That's good. Half inch. Bolt spacing needs to be four feet. I think they need to update that six feet there. No big deal though, we can do it. Seal plate uh, width, 5.5, that's correct. Thickness, 1.5 is correct. And we'll go over all these later as we're going over the actual lumber. And then distance from corner, 12 inches is correct. And there you go, boom. That's nice. And we'll turn off the old one. You can see now that it's there by itself. And that's very cool. So let's put these other walls on here right quick. I'll turn these back on. And so I think now what I can do is just use this same function. I'm just going to pull this out here. Go down here. Well, I don't want to do that, do I? I want to use this polyline. Yeah, and so we'll check the parameters on that. But let's say, uh, let's put it where it goes first. That's where it goes. And then it looks like all the parameters are correct. Yep, because I had done this before. I'm just going to hit enter. And I think when you're doing this one, you have to do up arrow or down arrow. There we go. That's cool. 
So you can see that worked. And let's go over here to the other, this other little wall and do this one as well. It's all polyline. Now I can tell which side the wall is going to be uh, from the dimension. The, dim the wall will actually be placed on this on the opposite side of this line. So I know not to draw it, the line over on that side of the wall. I know to draw it on this side of the wall. I'm going to hit enter and down arrow. Now, the only thing I just realized is that I will have to move this wall over because the, that other wall was not. Let's see, let me get it to where I can see the edge. There we go. Should be right there. And I just also noticed that it's turned the other direction. So what I should have done was go on. Let's do that again just for the fun of it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. From polyline. There we go. Now I'm going to go this way. And you can see the offset. The reason is. And let me close this and turn off the old basement walls, which I do not need anymore. The, the importance of the direction of the wall is that they offset this, these bolts for your plate, for your mud seal. And we'll get into that in the next video. But I just wanted to show how easily this is uh, using that extension. I mean, if I had had to draw all of this, it would have taken me hours uh, because if you go in here and look, let's just, uh, let's do a section right quick. Now see this one has, if I do a section, you can see that the, this one has placed the bars. Now this is not 100% critical because your walls are going to be engineered by the, per, the company that's pouring them. I just thought it was neat and I was just trying to show the uh, function um, of the, this foundation extension and the fact that it will do the footings and the anchor bolts and all of that but let's get let's get into the actual uh, purpose of this video sorry it took so long to do that and that would be to show you how the basement walls would be poured let me turn my site back on and this gives you a good idea of, of how the site would be cut out this section of the grade you can see that the slope is pretty steep uh, but you would have your excavator come in and cut out this basement area and he would basically over dig it three feet and all this is basically a kind of a finished view of the grade around the house but in the beginning this would be over dug three feet because what they have to do is they have to come in and a form of well first dig the footings and pour them and then secondly come in and form up and i will i'll i will be showing this uh, in videos so uh, you this is basically just the model the drawing but you'll get to see this in real life as, as we build it so if you don't quite understand it now it's it's okay don't worry about it i'm just trying to show it in model you know a drawing form uh, for now after you pour your footings and you pour your wall, form and pour your walls, then you'll fill this area with gravel and then pour your basement slab. And that basement slab would be turned down on this edge here. It would be thicker. It would be about 12 inches thick on this edge and then go back about 16 inches and then go back up to about four to six inches. Um, and we'll get into that a little more uh, when we get into the, the basement framing and that kind of thing. Uh, I didn't want this video, video to be really long. I just wanted to kind of give you an introduction to this particular case study and how we would do uh, form and pour the basement walls. Now, unfortunately, this whole volume here will have to be filled with gravel to pour the slab on top of it. 
that's the end of this video. I, I didn't want it to be too long. I imagine it's probably longer than I wanted it to be in the first place. The main point of this was to show a case study, a basement home, and one that we could uh, show that we were going to build in, in real life. And as we, as we start building this, then I, I'll show you uh, how we do it in, in greater detail. I appreciate you watching and uh, go out there and get some experience. Don't be afraid to build.